Alrighty, welcome back. Time for a check on the full forecast here. I'm live outside on the weather deck right now. Still got that nice breeze from earlier today going on. Some sun, some clouds. We actually got a jet contrail going right over the station right now. Very cool to see that way up in the sky. Now, some folks were asking me, you know what? We got some heat coming our way. What's a good day this week to do some yard work? Here's the answer. Should you mow or should you wait? Well, I think right now the best day in the next four, at least for this graphic, would be on Monday, tomorrow. Looks like the driest day, looks like the least hot type of day of the week. And I think temperatures for the most part as we go through the rest of the week are going to be basically too hot and there may be chances for rain or storms on those days, making it a little bit harder to get the yard work done, the, mow the mowing done. So I would try and do it tomorrow if you have to for the weekday. Boating forecast for tomorrow, a lot better than it was today. Today we had that breeze, the wind causing choppy waters. Tomorrow, Lake Ontario, northwest, 6 to 12 knots. Weighs about a foot or so there. For Oneida Lake, same story for you as well. Northwest, 5 to 10 knots, weighs 0 to 1 foot. Water temperatures, low to mid 70s. And for the Finger Lakes here, light winds, nearly flat water conditions. That UV index though can be very high, so sunscreen required. Temperature right now at 75 here in Syracuse. Same thing for Fulton and Watertown. 77 right now in the Utica Rome area. As we take a look at live triple dial radar brought to us by Falso Service Experts. A dry scan this evening. Nothing to worry about as far as any rain or storms tonight. And now we're all watching the Tropical Depression Berry area here, right here. And as that heads to the north in the coming days, along with this warm front, that's going to drag in not just moisture, but heat. Humidity. Look at these high temperatures from earlier today. 92 Cincinnati, 91 Chicago, 92 St. Louis. Lots of low 90s here, and that's not that far away. So as you go towards, say, the middle part of the week, there will be concerns about the combination of heat and high levels of humidity. Tonight we're down to 60 here in Syracuse, 50s for the rural areas under a generally clear sky. There could be some areas of fog setting up very late tonight. Once the breeze does settle down, though, and the seven day forecast, I'm going low to mid 80s, going 85 here in Syracuse. Tomorrow, we were a little bit warmer today than we were forecasted. Then for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, here comes some moisture with a warm front. Look at these high temperatures, upper 80s, low 90s, and I'm concerned about the combo of heat and humidity. I think the National Weather Service may issue a heat advisory for our area for a couple days, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, air temperatures could approach 90 or above. It may feel like 95 to 100 degrees with daily opportunities for thundery downpours. Look at those overnight lows in the low 70s, but good news is by next weekend, we could be drying out and cooling down to the low 80s. Weather Authority app, if you do not have it on your smartphone, a great app to have downloaded today to track showers, storms, and the latest forecast.